Well, that's it. Back in LA. Um, two and a half, well, just under two and a half hours actually. Uh, left at half twelve, which was a bit later than I wanted to because uh, I didn't get to bed till half five, so uh, I just had to catch up on some sleep, or as much sleep as I could before I had to check out. Um, but yeah, it was a late night, um, breaking down that booth, and then uh, they were just really slow with the forklifts and getting the stuff out the back. Uh, I think they were short-staffed, so it was well after midnight before we got out of the centre, and then went and got something to eat and back to the hotel and a couple of things to do, and before I knew it, it was 5.30, so a bit of a late start, back here now, 3 o'clock, uh, back to the same hotel in Sherman Oaks. Um, I'm going to check in now, uh, edit the last couple of vlogs, and... Uh, Probably go to see Captain America tonight. Uh, I'm going to check to see if any of the guys up around here now want to go because uh, a few of them came back up from San Diego and they're staying in LA for a while. So I'll see what's happening there. And uh, yeah, uh, two and a half days left in LA. It really is ridiculously hot today and the sunburn I have in my arms and I'm trying to keep in shade. I'm actually standing in the shade of lampposts and uh, poles and stuff, uh, waiting across the road just so I can stay out in the sun. So I can't imagine what it's like living here with this all the time. The one thing I eat far too much of when I'm here um, are these blueberry cream danishes. I know we have similar things at home but there's something about these ones that I can't stop eating when I'm here. And if anyone knows of those at home, don't tell me about them because they're really, really bad. I'm sure they're full of fat and stuff but uh, yeah, whenever I'm here I eat one of those a day at least. Well, it was, uh, <coughs> the intention was to go to uh, Captain America tonight up in the Arclight in Sherman Oaks, but uh, I was on Twitter and uh, William Shatner tweeted about this uh, outdoor free screening of his documentary, The Captains, down here in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Um, I've been down here a bunch of times before, it's right beside Paramount Studios and I've done a few of their tours. So uh, I usually come out and then take a walk about the cemetery. It's a really, really nice uh, cemetery. It's huge. Um, for anyone that remembers as well, some of the pictures I had up uh, of previous times I've been here is the one with uh, peacocks nesting in graves and stuff. It's very, very strange. And the fact that they have a video, you know, a documentary and film screenings here as well. But uh, hopefully it'll be good. William Shatner's going to be here to introduce the documentary and we'll see what it's like. <laughs> I've, um, I, I can't be uh, more, I can't explain my gratefulness to you enough. I can't be effusive enough to you uh, for my gratitude for your being here. What you'll see tonight is a documentary that uh, Dave Zappone and, uh, and uh, several others, uh, uh, Kevin Lane and I made. It was a labor of love. It was a labor of discovery. A documentary is something you're blindly walking, a path you're blindly walking along and stumbling over nuggets, hopefully. And in the editing room, there they are. I hope you enjoy this film as much as we enjoy making it, and, uh, and thank you for being here. What a fine actor you are. And then I plumbed a note inside me that I want to talk to you about, and that's this. When I did Captain Kirk, and we opened up in the first season. The notices were not particularly good about the show and not particularly good for me. Whatever they said about me was not as laudatory as I had in the past and what I was able to get sometimes in the future. In fact, Leonard Nimoy, who played uh, Mr. Spock uh, so well, so uh, uniquely, that although he didn't have spectacular things to do, that we would think of a foreign actor. He, he played the things so differently that it caught the attention of people.
people and the critics. And, and uh, he had a nomination for uh, an Emmy, and, and none of that came my way. Then as the show continued, I would get things like, hey, be me up, Scotty. A sort of, what it seemed to me, a sort of derisive tone. Well, I'm back from seeing the captains in Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Uh, I drove back from Hollywood over Mulholland again, which I love doing. And uh, the verdict on the captains is it's actually a very good documentary. Um, William Shatner is playing up, you know, he's, he's acting like you might expect him. Um, but he, he knows what his audience wants and he is playing a caricature of himself almost. But the funniest parts of the whole thing are when he's talking to Avery Brooks. Um, Avery, I don't think, is playing a party of himself. He is just a very, very strange person. But that's some of the funniest parts uh, when they're, they're trying to make up a song. Because uh, Avery's a jazz pianist and a uh, singer. And the two of them are sitting there trying to make up a song on the spot. And some of it is really, really funny. And... Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Um, we'll see. I have no plans for tomorrow, so we'll just make that up as we go along.